how do you excel in calculus? Like, how do you do really well? Not just pass the class, not just do okay. How do you actually learn calculus and learn it well? The truth is calculus is hard. And if you really wanna learn it well, it's gonna take time. But in this video, I'm gonna do the best I can to give you the best advice I can so that you can become better at calculus and become better at mathematics in general because the more math you learn, the easier it becomes to learn new math. That's just how it works. This video is inspired by a very short email I received from a subscriber here on the channel. I'm going to start by reading this message and then do my best to answer it. So if you have advice for this person, as always, leave a comment in the comment section below. The subject is, what do I need to excel in calculus? And I will leave the person's name out of it. Hello there, I love your videos. They have been so helpful. A little context, I am really bad at math. I understand the arts and sciences much better. I am currently in a competitive college and in order to pursue my major, I have to pass two calc classes. I'm currently in a pre-calc to prepare for these lower division math classes, but I'm already behind and struggling with the simple pre-calc. Is it a good idea to wake up early every day and just work on writing out what I don't understand and having AI give me practice questions as I do not have a textbook? Is building a decent pre-calc foundation enough to pass these calc classes even though I'm almost middle school level in any subject of math? So I have ton of things to say to this email and that's why I wanted to make this video because I do have a lot of advice so let's let's get right to it and as always if you have advice when the video is over drop a comment in the comment section because it can help others so first let me say this um, is is pre-calc enough to prepare yes and no so pre-calc is a class that is made up right pre-calc just has a bunch of math topics that you use in different areas of calculus, right? It's, it's kind of like a, a bunch of topics they threw together in a class and they called it pre-calc. I am assuming that you're learning trigonometry in your pre-calc class, because that is something you will need for calculus. Uh, not every school does it that way. I don't know what country you're in. Different countries do it different ways. So chances are you're, you're, you're learning some trig. You will need that trig for calculus. So yes, that is important. You also said, simple pre-calc so the tone of your email made it sound like you're worried because you're in pre-calc and calculus is supposed to be harder so you're worried because if you're struggling now it's going to be harder later but the truth is this pre-calc can be notoriously difficult okay i myself got a b plus in my pre-calc class or a b it's been a while and i had, and i got a's in all my calculus classes why different teacher different environment a different time I thought it was pretty tough, right? So pre-calc can actually be harder than calculus, right? So just because you're struggling in pre-calc doesn't mean you're going to struggle in calculus, okay? I've known plenty of students who have done very poorly in pre-calc and, and trigonometry, and they've excelled in calculus and their courses, and they've gotten degrees, and they've gotten jobs, and they have great lives. So just because you're struggling now, that is not an indication of your future. So I, want, I really want to hammer that point, right? You can do it, right? Don't, don't let one bad exam, don't let one bad class, one bad teacher, one bad anything bring you down. You can do it. Calculus is a beautiful subject and you can become very good at it despite your current shortcomings. Another thing I wanna address is that um, you don't have a calculus textbook. So I, I would definitely recommend trying to get one, even a free ebook online. Um, the two really great books, any of these works are the books by Stuart or the one by Larson. These are really big, thick calculus books. Um, they're available in most countries, not all. Uh, they're heavy, so shipping might be expensive. You can get used copies on Amazon. I'll leave links in the description. I also have calculus workbooks. These are perfect for your situation because you can actually sit down and start doing calculus right away. They have full solutions, no mistakes, right? No mistakes, zero mistakes. That's very important. And there's a whole bunch of them, right? So there's super-powered calculus. You can start learning calculus now, right? You can start learning calc now. And I'm suggesting that. I'm suggesting that you start learning calculus now. Continue to focus on pre-calc, but start learning calculus now so that when you actually get to calculus, 
you're going to be better at it. This is a workbook. All my books are workbooks. They have full solutions, zero mistakes. Calculus Alpha, Calculus Beta also helps. They're also calculus books. Mathematics Unlimited, it's got calculus and differential equations. So all these books can help you. For pre-calc, I have a book, Pre-Calculus for Legends. It has some pre-calculus in it. it. Doesn't have everything, but it's got full solutions and no mistakes. So I recommend these books to you, links in the description. Because they have full solutions, because they're workbooks, because they will get you to do mathematics right away, and because they have no mistakes, right? So you can just start doing math problems right away. That's going to build your confidence. It's going to make you better at math, and it'll translate to better grades in your class. But you really, really need to focus on what's being taught in your class. And a lot of that is going to depend on your teacher, how well that's being presented, and what resources your teacher gives you. It is unfortunate you don't have a textbook. I'm assuming maybe you have like online homework. So try to get a used copy of the textbook that you use for your class, even if it's an older edition, okay? So for example, maybe using the one by, uh, by Hornsby, the pre-calc book by Hornsby, or the pre-calc book by Stewart. You can get used copies on Amazon. Again, I'll leave links in the description to some copies. I'll, I'll look for some copies, and I'll leave some links in the description for you in case you wanna get those books. And you can get them for a few dollars sometimes. My books are really cheap. They're all priced in multiples of pi. My uh, eBooks are two pi. And my paperbacks are four pi. So kind of fun, I priced them in multiples of pi. So try to get a book. You said, is it a good idea to wake up really early every day and just work on writing out what I don't understand and having AI give me practice questions as I do not have a textbook? Yes and no. <laughs> so AI and mathematics, um, you know, AI, AI is confidently wrong about things, right? It can say, it can give you advice and it can be super wrong. And you're like, hey, and say, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't really mean that. And it can just ruin your life. No, no, <laughs> ruin your math life. You, you need to be very careful with AI. It's a tool. And like any tool, it has its purpose. But if you're using AI for math, you have to be careful because it makes terrible mistakes, right? That's why I still recommend books, okay? Again, Get a good pre-calc book, I'll leave a link in the description. Get a good calculus book, I'll leave a link in the description. Check out my books, no mistakes, I'll leave links in the description. Whereas if you just use AI versus actual books, um, AI has a lot of mistakes, right? So you do have to be very, very careful with AI. So I don't think it's the best idea, okay? Yes, you can use AI for learning and math, you can do it. Also, AI is not gonna give you the variety that you'll find in books. If you just ask it to give you a bunch of questions, it's not going to have the same flavor as a math book. You know, what's taught in math courses is pretty much universal, at least in the U.S. and in other countries, right? Like, there's certain types of problems, there's certain techniques, and AI is not going to recognize those techniques and give you the questions that you need to know in the same order that you would get from one of my books or from a textbook like the one by Stuart Larson. Why? Because these books are created by people who have taught mathematics. I've taught in college. So I know, I know what problems need to go in this book, right? Whereas AI would just give me a bunch of random problems, which it's, it's just not the same, right? It's just not the same. So try everything you can to get a book, okay? And again, I'm not, I'm not bashing it. I think AI is great, but try to get a book, okay? Very, very important because books have been put together and created by people who know the subject, right? by professionals who know mathematics, and that's what you need. So that's my advice, and you can do it. And don't let pre-calc get you down. Um, and I'll leave, I'll leave some links to pre-calc books for you. They, they, should be help, they should help you. And your last question is, is building a decent pre-calc foundation enough to pass these calc classes, even though I'm almost middle school level in any, maths, any subject of math? Uh, again, it's, it's not so much about your pre-calc foundation, it's about how you do in calculus. So I would say, do the best you can in this class, try to get an A, and when you get to calculus, it's gonna be a whole different beast. And start learning calculus now. Don't, don't, don't sacrifice your current grades for the sake of learning calculus, but start learning calculus now at the same time. That's gonna give you a really big confidence boost. You'll be like, hey, I'm doing calculus, you know? And you're gonna find that you're gonna enjoy, you're gonna enjoy self-study with this book way more than your class. And that's for two reasons. One, you're gonna be learning actual calculus, not pre-calc. Two, people always learn better when they're learning on their own in some sense. And three, um, for some reason, it's more fun to learn what you don't have to learn. If someone says, hey, you need to learn this, 
it's always more fun to learn something else. It's just how we're wired, you know? It's like people want to learn when they want to learn. So if you want to learn calculus, start learning calculus today. So that's my advice. I also have courses, uh, links in the description. I've got calculus courses, trigon I have a trigonometry course that can definitely help you for your calculus class. And I've got cal calc one courses, calc two courses, calc three, et cetera, all based on college level material. So that's my advice, get some books, uh, get some courses, um, use AI with caution. It's not going to be as good as a book because again, it doesn't, it's not a mathematician. It's not a person who is taught. It, it doesn't have the structure that you need. You know, it's not gonna be able to give you all the different types of integrals, all the different techniques. It's just gonna give you the same stuff over and over again. You're not gonna learn everything you need to learn. And it's gonna have mistakes. That's the worst part. You, you, you might learn something wrong. And again, AI can be confidently wrong uh, in, its, in its mathematics. So you, you need a book. <laughs> so you need to get a book. That's my advice. If anyone else has advice for this person, uh, please drop a comment in the comment section. And that's how you get good at calculus, right? You just, you just get some books, get a, a reputable course that has no mistakes, and you start doing problems every day. You get up every day, like you said, and start doing problems from the book, right? Because again, the books are gonna give you much more structure than ChatGPT will. So that, that's my advice. I hope it's been helpful. If anyone else has advice for this person, leave a comment. Stay strong.